Welcome to another sneak peek of SolidWorks 2015 where today we're going to take a look at a few user interface enhancements that you're sure to like and are going to make your time in the software much faster. So let's dive right in. We're actually going to show a few more features than what are than the title might imply in this case. So what I have here is a progressive die assembly and many of the components are hidden. Oftentimes you want to turn on just a few components and users opt to selecting them all, showing them, and then hiding the ones they don't want to see. You'll notice now in SolidWorks, whenever you select a component, you now get a preview of what that component looks like. It makes it really easy to grab a hidden component out of the feature manager tree and show that part. That's also useful if you're trying to access just one of the instances of a component and it's hidden as well. We'll see that in a little bit. But what we really want to see here is the ability to grab frequently selected components inside of an assembly. For example, the strip of this prog die contains a pattern with several instances of this part. It also contains one here, one here, and this strip. Now, I could select this entire subassembly, but maybe I only want a subset of these parts. And I know I'm going to access them frequently. You can now select those components out of the feature manager tree right mouse click and choose to save that as a selection. Any selections you make will appear in the feature manager tree in a new folder at the top. This is a great way to quickly access all of those components. Here you'll notice I can just simply select the selection set and it will re-grab all those components making it really easy for me to either hide, show, suppress, or whatever you want to do to those components. Likewise I have a few other selection sets that I've made. This one happens to be all the hardware. So here you get the nice preview we mentioned previously, and I don't actually want to turn that on. But I do want to turn on all the individual die blocks that I've made in this case. So again, I simply choose a selection set and choose to show those components. Now, selection sets is very powerful. Let's go ahead and dive into one of these parts a little bit deeper. Here I want to make sure that I grab the right part, and you can see here's an example of where that preview helps me guarantee that I've selected the right part even when it's hidden in the feature manager tree. So let's go ahead and open that up. Here's another new enhancement to SolidWorks 2015, the ability to open that part in position. You'll notice when I do that, it opens that part up into the same orientation that we were viewing it in the assembly. But what I wanted to show here was that selection sets aren't just for assemblies. For example, maybe there's a handful of bends that I constantly want to be suppressing. In particular, just these couple of bends right here. You'll notice I can then create a selection set of them. And then when I need to access them in the future, it's really easy for me to just to suppress those, in, those specific bends. Here I'm going to go ahead and unsuppress them. You can create any number of selection sets to create a variety of options. So as you can see, SolidWorks 2015 provides a lot of great new user interface enhancements that are just going to make your everyday productivity a lot nicer and faster in SolidWorks.